Hi, this is Melissa Omani Belafontaine of Lovely Paper Crafters, and I want to show you today a card made with the Tropical Oasis Suite. Um, so there's a few things in this suite. Um, there's a, a stamp set. So it's a timeless tropical stamp set. It looks like that. Uh, the second thing is the Tropical Oasis uh, paper. So it looks like that. This paper was great to do um, some scrapbooking for my, when we went away to um, the convention for the Florida trip. Um, I did a lot of uh, scrapbooking with this pattern. And the second, third thing I'm going to show is the In the Tropics dies. They look like that. So I'm going to show a few samples of cards I've made with this uh, suite. So there's this one here, and I've used the palm trees for that one. And I also use the um, Coastal Weave 3D Embossing Folder for that one. And this one is using the trop uh, In the Tropics dies and the uh, Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. I also use the trinkets for this one. And this one I used the flower in the die set and the um, Trap Voices Designer Series paper. Now this one is from the Tropical Oasis Memories and More card kit. So there's a card pack that you can use for scrapbooking um, and making cards. So that's that one there. Um, and then you can just layer it on a piece of paper and on a card. And then this is the last card. And so I use it, the Aloha uh, Framelit and the uh, pineapple um, embellishment there, and then the paper. And so I'm going to start with the cards. I'm just going to pull you down here. Good morning, Jane. Thanks for joining in this morning. Alrighty, so we're going to make this card here. Um, and I'm just going to, I've gone over a few of the parts already, and then I'm just going to show you how to do a few of the things. So I'm going to um, actually leave in um, my description on, on after the video, I'm going to leave the uh, measurements of how to make this card and what you have to use. Um, so what I did first was I cut out using the detailed band dies. I cut out a piece of blushing bride paper and then I cut out in white using so I could get the background so I could put a label in so I cut it also out in white, whisper white. And then I did, um, so I have the card base is just a white piece of whisper white cardstock and then I use the in the tro uh, sorry, in the Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. So that was the one with the, it has the leaves on the back and then the flamingos on the front. And I also took a white piece of cardstock. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, that's the back side. And so I um, embossed that with the Coastal Weave 3D embossing folder. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to take our two stamps here. So we're going to take the small flower and we're going to stamp that down twice. And we're going to take the two leaves and you're going to stamp those down also. And I'm using the... Um, sparkle paper because it is a little bit thicker for because we're using the blends the Stampin' blends for this one and so I'm going to show you how I colored in the two one uh, one each of the the little leaves and the little flowers so I used the 
Flirty Flamingo, Dark and Flirty Flamingo Light Stampin' Blends. And so what I did first is I took the dark color and I just went over the lined area. So anywhere it shows a shadow, I just did that with the dark color. And then I just went over with my light uh, flirty flamingo. And to blend that in, what I would do is just go over the dark color with the light, and it should blend it in quite nicely. So that's how it's going to look like when it's done. And then we're going to go move on to the leaf. So the leaf I'm using, um, Dark Mint Macaron of the Stampin' Blends and Light Mint Macaron. So you're going to do the same thing. So for the Light Mint Macaron, you're going to take the small end, or the, sorry, the dark, you're going to go over the lines of the leaf. So you're just pretty much going to go over the little lines and and then you're just going to go over with your light mint macaron. Try to remember with these Stampin' Blends that you don't want to um, go over too many times, um, like say in one spot for 10 seconds. You want to color over really, really quickly. And then if you find that you've missed a spot, say I want to, there's a line right here that I missed, so I want to go back with the dark, then you can go back over with the dark after. But do it as quick as you can. Don't... Um, it's not like coloring with pencil crayons. If you go over too many times, it will go through the paper. So like there, it will go through the paper, but if you go over too much, it will actually bleed or bleed through or rip the paper. And then what I did is I used the, in the Tropic dyes and I took the, I took the flower framelit and the leaf framelit and then I cut them out here. So I'll just show you those cut out and all colored in. And there's the second one. So those I've all finished. And then the last part for this part, well, not the last part, we have a few more parts to go, but so we're going to take the black and you're going to take your sentiment. So on the, um, on the, there's a whole bunch of sentiments here. So rest and relax, you deserve it is what we're gonna use. There's thank you, hello, um, may your birthday be memorable, which I use for tons of my cards. It's a, just a really nice saying, and it's a block saying, so it sits on top of each other, which is really nice. And our friendship is timeless is another saying on that set. So you're gonna take the rest and relax, you deserve it. And you're gonna stamp it into the little detailed band die that you cut out and so this one's a little bit tricky here's hoping i got it there we go so it's a little bit smushy in there but it does fit and i'm just gonna clean up my area here so we can start putting the card together All right, so we're going to take our card base. We're going to stick the in the tro uh, sorry the uh, tropical oasis designer series paper down onto the white uh, card base. There is a uh, flamingos on this, so you probably want to make sure the flamingos are up before you paste it down. Not that probably many people would notice that. But and then you're going to just leave a little bit of a border around your card. Oh, my card's not sitting very straight. There we go. Okay, 
There we go. And then we're going to do, we're going to do the, and Jane is asking if the stamp set's retiring. No, this one is actually carrying over to the next uh, book. The only thing that's retiring out of this is the um, Coastal Weave 3D embossing folder. So that's one you don't want to get. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our... Emboss sheet and you're going to put that down on the top of the card so just like that and so the rest we're going to do with dimensionals and of course I put my dimensionals away because that's what I like to do when I'm trying to do a card Put all my stuff away so you're going to take your dimensionals and you're going to take your framelit and you're going to put them both to the back and then you're going to take the dimensionals and you're trying to going to try to layer over top so it stays on there I can show you that a little bit closer so I just went over just to make sure it stays where it's supposed to and then what you're going to do is you're going to actually cut off the band part of course I put my scissors away also there we go Okay, and then we can uh, put that right down on the card. So you're just going to take those dimensionals off, or the backings of the dimensionals off. And you're going to stick that down. And more closer to the top. And it's kind of on the side there, so let's move it up a little bit. There we go. So just like that. And then we're going to take our little flowers and we're going to actually add two dimensionals to our flower or dimensionals, um, jewels to our flowers. So we're just going to put uh, one jewel in the middle here. So these are the champagne rhinestones. They just give it a little bit more of a color in the middle there. I'm just new to doing videos, especially live. So um, if anybody else wants to ask questions, go ahead. Um, it's a little tricky for me, but I'm going to try my best. Thanks, Jane, for asking that question because I totally forgot to mention that this set is carrying over. So about three. So you're going to take use those dimensionals to get that to stick to the flower. And then you're going to use about three to make it stick to the back of the flower. And then you're just going to put that right there. And then the second one, you're going to do the same thing too. But this one, it's going to go down. So we're, one is going up and one's going down. So just make sure you're putting it on the right side there. So just like that. And then the third one here. This one I should put under. And just like that. So that's the end of our card there. And that's how it'll look like when it's finished.
thanks for joining me. Um, I am doing a technique class on a block stamping, using your block to make a stamp, and that will uh, be on uh, May the 5th, so that's next Tuesday. So if you can join me then, that would be great. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my card. Thanks. Have a good day.